वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ चैप्टर फ्रॉम इलेवेंथ क्लास इंग्लिश बुक हॉर्नबेल द एडवेंचर रिटन बाय जयंत नॉलेकर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द चैप्टर लेट्स फाइंड आउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द ऑथर जयंत विष्णु नॉलेकर ही इज एन इंडियन राइटर एंड एस्ट्रोफिजिसिस्ट बॉर्न ऑन जुलाई नाइनटीन 1938 in Kolhapur Maharashtra he developed with sir fred hoyle the conformal gravity theory known as hoyle nolika theory his father vishnu vasudev nolika was a mathematician and theoretical physicist who served as a professor and head of the department of mathematics at banaras hindu university He has received many national and international awards including Padma Bhushan in 1965 and Padma Vibhushan in 2004. Besides the scientific papers and books and popular science literature, Nalika has written science fiction novels and short stories in English, Hindi and Marathi. He is also the consultant for the science and mathematics textbooks of NCERT. He received the Indira Gandhi Award of the Indian National Science Academy in 1990. In 2014, he received a Sahitya Academy Award for his autobiography in Marathi. Students now let's start the introduction of the chapter The Adventure The story adventure is a wonderful combination of science and fiction. The story is about Professor Gangadhar Pant Gaitonde, protagonist in the story. He is a great historian and has written five volumes of history. He planned to visit a library in Bombay to find some more facts about the history. He decided to go to Bombay via train Jija Mata Express and when he reached Bombay things were different in fact during his journey professor gaiton they met with an accident he was hit by a truck at the time of his collision with the truck he was thinking about an important moment in the history due to accidental shock professor gaiton they had a transition into parallel world he remained unconscious in coma for a few days the things he experienced in his parallel world due to his transition were different as compared to his real life world experience the adventure here as the title of the chapter suggests was not his real or physical experience it's just his imagination in his virtual world he thought that what would have happened if marathas had lost the battle of panipat during his transition or unconsciousness he visited the new city of bombay and had a very strange experience at azad maidan students remember one thing all this is happening in his parallel world or his imaginary world not in the real world all this we are talking about is just his or author's imagination his knowledge of history says that east india company had been wound after 1857 but on the contrary at reaching bombay it was still flourishing there in his virtual world not uh, uh, in fact actually again i would remind you not in fact but it's happening in his virtual world the professor narrate is uh, his experience to his friend rajendra deshpande <clears throat> Rajendra rationalizes his experience with two scientific theories quantum theory and catastrophic theory in fact the moment when the professor collided with the truck he was lost in his deep thinking about a battle and uh, that was the topic of his 1000th uh, presidential address uh, as well he was uh, going to attend the chapter is based on an episodic memory there are two different worlds a world of professors transition and other is the real world dear students let's start detailed explanation of the chapter 
I'll explain you chapter page wise so that uh, it will be easier for you to understand because this is a very long chapter divided in four or five episodes. For your uh, convenience, I have given uh, some important words, difficult words also with their meanings that you can see from the video or when you revise it from the textbook, these word meanings will help you. So students, let's start the detailed explanation of the chapter. I'm starting with page 60. Professor Gaitonde was traveling by the Jai Mata Express train, Jija Mata Express train, in fact, which was uh, running along Pune Bombay Road and was faster than Deccan Queen, another train. The professor noticed that uh, there was no industrial towns uh, inside Pune city. The next uh, stop was the Ghat section, which was similar to what the professor already knew. He decided to go to the big library at arriving Bombay and uh, will consult history books. He wanted to know the current situation of India by studying various uh, events of history. He planned to move back to Pune after finishing his work to meet uh, Rajendra Deshpande to have a discussion over all these current events. He was thinking about Rajendra Deshpande. Meanwhile, he was traveling and the train stopped beyond a long tunnel in a place called Sarhat. He saw an Anglo-Indian checking permits. Students, let's start explanation for next page, that is page 61. A person named Khan Sahib asked Gaitonde if he was going to Bombay for the first time. Yes, he was going for the first time, in fact. He inquired from Khan Sahib that route to Peshawar. He thought about a long journey of two days. Khan Sahib further talked about his business to Gangadha Pant Gaitonde. As soon the train passed through the residential road traffic and he saw a blue carriage with the GBMR on uh, the side. Khan Sahib explained the full form of GBMR, Greater Bombay Metropolitan Railway. He further showed him the tiny Union Jack uh, mark reminding British territory. On reaching uh, at Dadar, he noticed uh, some Anglo-Indians and Parsis. Students, as soon as he reached Dadar, he notices something different. At the station, he saw written over the uh, something uh, written over something East India House Headquarters of the East India Company. He turned curious as he had not expected it in Bombay. As for his knowledge of history, East India Company was shut down after 1857 events. Curiously, he thought how history took a turn. He found a different set of shops and offices, buildings along Hornby Road. Everything looks uh, as uh, in a typical high street top town in England. Yes, students, remember I am reminding you once again, all these uh, happenings we are talking about are happening when professor was in his transition because of his collision because of his uh, accident when he entered into another world his mind was unconscious he is not actually in the real world he has been transferred to some other world and he is thinking or you can say imagining about all these things now explanation for page number 62 at reaching the Forbes building, he asked the receptionist about uh, Mr. Uh, Vine Gaitonde. Yeah, students here, Vine Gaitonde is uh, the professor's son. And the receptionist told him that no such named person walk uh, in the company. He was shocked and thought uh, that what would happen if he would not be alive in this world. He moved out to have lunch and thereafter went to town hall. In the town hall library, he took uh, actually five volumes of history. Volume one was about the period of Ashoka, another was about uh, Samundra Gupta, the third one was about uh, Muhammad Gauri, and fourth volume was about uh, actually about the death of Aurangzeb. After reading uh, volume five, he knew about that uh, next moment was, uh, what was the moment that changed uh, history. He came to know that uh, Marathas had won the battle of Panipat. Abdali was chased to Kabul by a successful Maratha army, which was led by Sada Shivrao Bahu and his nephew. The book didn't give detailed information about the war, but it elaborated about the details about the power struggles in India.
Students, now let's move uh, to the explanation for page number 63. Here also important words, difficult words are mentioned with uh, uh, its meanings for uh, your convenience. Uh, students, uh, he came to know uh, that how Vishwasarao succeeded his father in 1780 and he studied about East India Company's relation with Vishwasarao. He came to know how the Maratha kept the Mughal government alive for political reasons and uh, importance of rising technology in Europe. India was a democratic country and uh, the Peshwas of Marathas lost their empire and democratic bodies took their place. The professor liked to study about India. What uh, he re reads in the book was different from what he thought. Now page number 64, the professor came to know about a treaty in 1908 and uh, various aspects of British rule, but still he wanted to know more about Maratha battle. He found the three-line account about Vishwas Rao and uh, how he was killed. Students, he was busy reading books uh, in the library, but a uh, librarian asked him to finish first, and it was the time to close the library. He inquired the timing for opening of library, putting uh, some notes in his pocket, and uh, Bakha, Bakha here means uh, one book of history, and he put uh, that book into his another pocket. He found a guest house to, to have dinner and stay over there. During his evening walk uh, in the Azad Maidan, he found a large crowd moving towards a pandal. A lecture was going on and he noticed an empty chair and he sat on the chair. Students, uh, once again, uh, let me remind you, all the things we are talking about are happening in uh, the professor's virtual world when he was in his unconsciousness or you can say when he was in coma after his accident. This is not his uh, real world happenings. Okay. Now let's start explanation for page number 65. Some important words are given over there. You can uh, note down it from the video. The speaker shouted as soon he saw the professor was sitting on the chair. He told him to vacate the chair. He replied the lecturer doesn't have any chair for a son, but the speaker asked him to move away and told him that the chair was iconic. The professor didn't listen to his instructions and uh, went to the mic to express his thoughts. He started uh, by saying that vacant chair lecture is like a Shakespeare's Hamlet and without Prince of Denmark. No one in the audience listened to him. Audience wanted to listen to the speaker. The professor continued speaking in hope of controlling the audience, but soon he was thrown away and the situation changed. And uh, soon after he started speaking, audience started throwing uh, tomatoes, eggs and other objects towards him. He kept on speaking bravely, after some time the professor was nowhere to be seen. The professor was telling all this to Rajendra. Next morning, he was found in the Azad Maidan and back into the actual world he belongs to. He wanted to know that where he was those two days. Rajendra was surprised to listen all that and asked the professor that what he was doing at the time of his collision with the truck. Now let's move for page number 66. The professor told that he was uh, thinking about uh, catastrophe theory. Rajendra smiled and uh, listening to the statement, but the professor told him not to smile because he was not telling a lie. And to prove himself, he took out a piece of printed paper from his pocket. As soon as Rajendra saw the paper, he was surprised. The professor told Rajendra that he had stolen that piece of paper and uh, even a book that uh, Bakha from the library to return it next morning, but it was lost somewhere in the crowd at uh, uh, Azad Maidan. He showed the page with the notes from the book and Rajendra again uh, read the page uh, and uh, it described how Vishwas Rao missed the bullet. He uh, started to realize that it's not a fantasy and he wanted the professor to know some facts. The professor wanted to hear the catastrophic experience from Rajendra and told the professor to apply the catastrophe theory to the battle of Hanifat. Students, let me remind you once more, all the things uh, now moving into the library 
getting those five volumes of books studying making notes all these are the experience uh, experiences you can say uh, by the professors in his virtual world not in actual world let's start page number 67 rajendra told him that the abdali and maratha army were both equally strong in terms of troops and forces but the victory dependent on the leadership and uh, morale of the troops the point where the maratha were killed was the turning point of the battle uncle of vishwas rao rushed into the crowd and was never seen after that no one knows whether he survived or died the troops lost their morale and fighting spirit and it was a defeat for them the professor added a similar statement and made about uh, talked about battle of waterloo Rajendra then made his second point uh, which was how we experience reality it is via our sense or with the help of instruments but is reality really limited to what we see or is it a demonstration students uh, Rajendra explained the reality is not the same it has been founded by the experiments of small atoms and their particles the physicist studies uh, such systems and found something surprising they found that the behavior of such system cannot be predicted let's move for page number 68 he gave an example of electron if he would fire bullet for a gun, from a gun he would know where it will go and but uh, it cannot be predicted about the electrons we can count odds about where it can be at a specific time and position professor added the lack of determinism which means lack of doctrine caused by external will he added that he had also heard of it rajendra told the professor that an electron may be found in different places different vault the professor asked him whether there are uh, any contacts between these many worlds rajendra replied it might not happen he said in both the worlds the electron is orbiting the nucleus of an atom the professor added an example of planets and sun but rajendra denied saying that in case of electrons it is different uh, rajendra explained the process of an electron jumping from higher level to lower level Uh, these uh, transitions happen at a microscopic level professor told him that he went to another world and came back again rajendra added that the professor made a transition and experienced to world one at a time one in which he lives and the other world where he spent his last two days and the experience he was sharing with the rajendra prasad students let's start the last page 69 Rajendra answered that he didn't know why he made the transition but he could guess it at the time of collision the professor was thinking about catastrophe theory and its role in the war maybe he was thinking about the battle of panipat and uh, that moment uh, the neurons in his brain acted as a trigger and made the transition The professor confessed that he was thinking about what would had happened if battle had uh, uh, gone uh, the other way and he was about to address this at the 1000th residential uh, presidential address The professor Gaitan De who was uh, defending his chair on the stage had to disappear and he would never be seen again at another meeting He also conveyed his regrets to organizer of the seminar at Panipat. So dear students uh, this is a story about uh, an experience by professor Gaitan De who entered into another world who gone through an experience of transition due to uh, an accident and uh, he experienced another another world and that experience of another world he shared with Rajendra Prasad. I hope uh, you have understood the chapter and uh, I hope uh, this video will help you to understand the chapter student this is a long and uh, bit confusing chapter so I request you all to watch it again for a better understanding and subscribe my channel 
and press the bell icon to study your another chapter in my channel. Thanks and have a good luck.